comes to the geometric shape of the universe, there are three different possibilities. We have a closed universe, which would be more of a sphere. Excuse my bad drawing. Uh, then we have an open universe. An open universe is kind of shaped more like a saddle. And then the last possibility for the universe is flat. And flat is pretty simple, it's just just like a sheet of paper. Alright, so when it comes to determining the shape of the universe, what we need to do is we need to draw triangles. On this sphere, I have drawn a triangle. But on a spherical shape, a triangle has, or can have, three right angles. In Euclidean geometry, they have to, the, all the angles of a triangle have to add up to 180. So we're going to draw some triangles to try to figure out what the universe looks like. So in a closed universe, you get triangles with possibly three right angles. In an open one, what happens is, and I'm going to draw this, in an open one, so if we're looking at it from the top, it looks kind of like that, and it travels like this. So the lines converge. So this is an observer here at the end, so that's you. And then here is whatever field of view you're looking at. Uh, and in a flat universe, it's just normal triangles, Euclidean, pretty simple. So when it comes to figuring out the geometry of the universe, we need to talk about something called the density parameter. And the density parameter is basically a ratio from the density that you observe and the density needed in order for an expanding universe to stop expanding. So here, I'm drawing, this is just our field of view. We have some amount of galaxies. All these dots represent galaxies. And here, we have you or me, whichever one. I don't discriminate. In a closed universe, the lines, because let's say this is what we're observing here. Let's just say 300,000 light years across, for example. Uh, in a closed universe, our triangle would have a right angle. So it'd be pretty big. We'd see a lot of the universe. In a flat universe, we'd see it in straight lines. In a closed universe, we'd see less. And when we do the math, because when we're doing density parameters, if the universe is closed, the ratio should be above one. If the universe is flat, it should be equal to one. And if the universe is open, it should be between zero and one. And when we do it, we actually come out to about 0.7, but there is an equation, I'm going to write it down here, it's h squared equals 8 pi g over 3p minus kc squared over r squared plus uh, 3. All right, so this h is Hubble's constant, this is the gravitational constant, uh, this is the expansion rate, this is the radius of the universe, and uh, this is the cosmological constant. Everything has been accounted for when doing all the math to lead up to give us to 0.7 density, except for that. And that, actually I did that backwards, there's 0.3, and then once we account for the cosmological constant, which would be dark matter and dark energy, we get the other 0.7. And all observations, all of our math, all of what we observe, and I'll put up some pictures to help you guys see what we see and what we'd expect to see if we lived in a different universe. Uh, so I'll put up some pictures for that. But the math and the observations all have us conclude that we live in a 
flat, a geometrically flat universe.